Hey everybody, this is Herc Magnus and welcome to video three. Today what we are going to cover is the backups function and the rank tracking function of your dashboard, which can be found here and here. So backups, the first thing you're gonna to need to do to set up backups is choose the place where you'd like to store your backup files. And where you can do that is if you go to your account, go to your settings tab, and then um, scroll over to backup settings tab and you can see you have a few options here for backups. You can choose to backup with Dropbox, Amazon S3, FTP, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, or Google Drive. So to connect to any of these, you'll have to have this service in place already. And then just enter your access keys. Uh, there's instructions for each one's how to get them set up, and they're quite easy to do. I use Dropbox because they have uh, two gigabytes of free storage and for ten dollars a month that can go up to a terabyte So there's tons of space with Dropbox and uh, So once you have these set up and hooked up You will go to your backups tab and it will list all the websites that you have available for backups And all you have to do is basically choose your storage method. So like I said, I have Dropbox set up so I would choose uh, the storage method of Dropbox I would choose my backup schedule and your options are daily, weekly, or monthly. And what I suggest for a schedule is you kind of make your backups match the amount of time that you are updating your content. So if you're updating your content on a daily basis, you should probably keep a daily backup because you don't ever want to lose changes. If you're only updating every week or so, choose weekly. And if you're rarely updating, maybe once a month, I would choose monthly. So I'm going to choose uh, a weekly backup. And then what the limit is, is how many backups do you want to keep active before you start dropping the oldest ones? So if I choose a limit of five, it will store five backups. So I'll have uh, five weeks worth of backups and then the oldest one will drop off when the new one comes on. So once you have your settings saved, you would just go ahead and click on create backup. It'll ask you if you're sure. And I say, yes, go ahead and create a backup and it is now created. So what will happen is it will run the process of the backup and when the first backup is ready, it will show up in your view backup. So I'll pause the video um, for now and then when that backup is ready, I'll show you how you can easily restore any backups or delete any backups as well. Okay, so that only took about 30 seconds to create the first backup. So I also went ahead and set up backups for the other two sites, uh, both Dropbox on a weekly schedule and set the limit to five. So in order to see your backup, so we can just take like 57lid.com and all you have to do is click on view backups and then in the right side, you'll see that this is now backed up. You can see the website is backing up at, Stro at Dropbox and there is one total backup in there. Um, after a week, there will be two. After five weeks, there will, there will be five and there will, they will always maintain the five newest backups because we set our limit to five. So you can do a lot of things here. You can delete any backups that you don't wanna use. You can download a copy of the backup or you can simply restore a backup in the event that something happens with your site or you get hacked or something like that and you need to restore the backup. All you have to do is click the restore button and this will pop up and it'll let you know that restoring a backup means it's gonna overwrite some files with whatever it has backed up. So um, just make sure you read the notification and understand that when you're restoring a backup, it will delete any new files um, in case you don't have that backup backed up. So it is very handy in the case of getting hacked and I've had to use this um, in the case of getting hacked a few times, but it works really, really good. So once you click restore, it'll execute the backup for you. So backups are quite simple, but they're extremely powerful and extremely useful. So the next area that I wanna cover is the rank tracker. We have rank tracking built in. So if you click on the rank tracker, um, that'll take you over to your three sites and nothing is gonna be added yet. It's not tracking anything. So obviously with a rank tracker, you have to um, target certain keywords. So for instance, we'll go with stop childhood obesity. And what I'm going to do is just add some keywords. So we'll just uh, add the basic keyword that we want to track or rank for. So stop childhood obesity, um, overweight children. Okay, whatever the keywords are that you want to track, lose weight for kids. You would just type them in one at a time um, per line. And then you would choose your search engine by typing the first three characters. So I'm going to type Google. And I always track um, google.com, but you have the ability to track anything you want. And then once you're done that, 
you just go ahead and click on add keywords and then it will successfully add those keywords. It'll give you the notification in the bottom right. And if we now refresh this page, you'll see that those three keywords are now um, being tracked for stop childhood obesity on searchengine.com. And it also pulls in the local and the global search volumes for those keywords for you. And over time, um, you'll be able to see how your rankings are looking. You can select um, one or multiple keywords and then just click on the view graph. And what that'll do is bring up a graph for you and show you your rank trackings over time. And as for client reporting and stuff like that, um, if they want reports of rank trackings, you can click on um, the keywords that you're tracking for your clients and then open them up in the graph. And then you can either download a, a PNG image, a JPEG image, image a PDF document or an SVG vector image. And those images can be used as client reporting for your um, clients. The next functions are obviously just going to be the refreshing the keywords. So if your keywords haven't ran, they run on a 24 hour update schedule. But if you want to force those, you can select all your keywords and then just click uh, a force of a sync for those. Um, the next one is this is there's two delete buttons. One is going to delete all the keywords that you have. The other one is going to just delete the selected terms that you have. So if you only want to delete a couple, make sure you're using the orange delete. But if you want to delete everything, um, make sure you're using the red one. Don't press the red one if you don't want to delete everything and that will track your rankings. There is one more place that you'll be able to add keywords um, to track and that is on the plugin side of Project Supremacy. But I'll get into that um, in the next few days when we cover the project planner because you'll be able to track um, keywords on the plugin side, but they'll also be reported in there. So that's it for backups and rank tracking, and we'll see you in the next video in a few days. Bye-bye.